these lawnmowers together. Hello guys, my name is Larry and welcome to my YouTube channel called the 956 Studio. In today's video, we're going to cover a topic on how to check spark plugs that you're using lawnmowers and ATVs, uh, riding mowers, whatever it might be that uses these spark plugs. We're going to show you how to check them in just a few, a few moments. It won't take long. All you need is a multimeter to do that that, that has an ohm reading on it. And uh, we're going to be using today in today's video a Klein Tools uh, multimeter and we're going to be setting it to ohms and we're going to check these plugs right away to tell you which one of these we are going to be condemning. So stick around, let's jump right into the video. And in today's video I am going to show you how I test uh, these three spark plugs that are used in ATVs, lawnmowers and other applications. And the method I'm going to use is with the Klein Tools uh, multimeter and we're going to set it to ohms and we're going to go from there with it and we'll show you what the results will be on each one of these plugs so one of these is going to be a bad plug the other one's kind of an intermittent problem and then we're going to have one good plug so let's see if you can figure it out without me explaining a lot in details the well, first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you're familiar with the tool that you're using like i said today we're going to be using the Klein tools and this is not a sponsored video we <coughs> purchased this tool from the home depot ourselves and we'll also post some links down in the description as to where you can buy these online through Amazon or other sites that are not affiliates of ours. But if we do sell something through Amazon and it's linked to this video, we do make a small percentage. So I guess you could say it is semi-affiliated through that, those conditions. But the first thing we're going to do is, uh, again, this is a Klein Tools and it's an MM450. And it does have automatic mode in it, but we're going to use this, this symbol right here. That is your ohm symbol. We're going to turn it on. The very first thing you want to do is you want to test it. Put your leads together. And you hear it beeping. That's letting you know that you got it set to check continuity. And that's how we're going to check a spark plug. We're going to make sure that it has juice going all the way from the tip of it out to the electrode on the very back. And the electrode, for those of you that don't know, is that little piece right down inside here that fire flies from it. To the outer piece of this little lip right here that's what the spark is created within that gap and it ignites a gas and whatever you're working on and creates combustion and that's how it runs now the first one we're going to take is going to be this plug right here this is a yo my y-o-m-a-i i don't think it's a very good spark plug either if you want my personal opinion i bought a few of these off of uh, internet websites and they seem to fail me quite often this one is a used plug. This is one that has failed me. So make sure you got the electrode tool point making good contact just like so. And stick it down inside there and make sure you hit that little electrode right inside there like so. Now it ain't making a beeping sound. So that is telling me that there is a problem with this little plug. Next what we're going to do is an F6TC plug. JDS branded. We're going to do the same thing, same way. We're going to stick it right inside there, and if you hear the sound, it is reading a 2.1, which is telling me that this plug, the resistance is good, and the plug itself is working fine. Now I'll do it again. Really good reading, fast reading, simple reading. That is a good spark plug right there. Last but not least, we got a BPM7C hips plug. Another one of these Chinese plugs. Same thing. We're going to put it right there. We're going to try to get it up in the electrode. Five point. It's very inconsistent. So, so there is making continuity. And I'm trying to hold it as steady as I possibly can. I can't fully condemn this plug, but I can say that it's not reacting as well as the one good plug we had. And I'm trying to move it around, make sure I got good continuity, or good contact. But if something seems to be loose inside it, maybe it's down inside the electro part of it. I'm not really sure. But we checked all three of them and back to the one that I would use, which is this one right here. Very simple, fast, good spark plug. Well, guys, I hope I shared some information with you that uh, you gained some knowledge from. And if so, we ask that you hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And uh, 
really would appreciate it because we're just a small mom and pop shop channel out there that's trying to make it in this big old world of YouTube. And again, I'll post some links down in the description. Hit the more button and it'll direct you to where these tools can be purchased or these spark plugs can be purchased or anything similar to this video. So again, thumbs up, like, subscribe. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.